folks, it's Evil here from Thunderous Brewing Company. Welcome to the frosty edition of Thunderous Fishing Tips. <laughs> We've got the boatless tonight. We're all boatless today, folks. We're out here on Lake Simcoe. We're fishing the hard water. Uh, both Antonio and I are rigged up with the Sting Nose Jig and Spoon. And as you know, you could fish these just the way they are as is. But I've got mine today tipped with the new Thundermist eye drops. And I've got a small one there. Wow, things are freezing up quick. I've just tipped with a real small eye drop and so has Antonio. And as you know, we've caught a lot of fish on the sting nose untipped. But uh, if you need a little bit of extra enticement or a little bit of extra scent, the eye drops is the ticket. And it also changes the fall a little. So we're gonna see if we could trigger a few bites here. We're fishing what, 30 some odd feet? 34 feet. 34 feet of water, okay. So I'm right down on the bottom. And the technique's gonna be simple. Just the lift and let it fall back down. Lift and let it fall back down. Now, one thing I would like to say, we got some wind here today and it is very, very cold. My hands are frozen. Um, when we dug the holes, I like to leave, when I'm fishing out in the open, when I'm not in the hut, I like to leave that little bit of excess snow in front of the hole because the wind blows the snow and a lot of it will blow in the hole and it'll start to freeze up on you. So I like to leave that little bit of, of snow there to help protect against the wind. Okay, so we're in 30 some odd feet of water. We're not marking any fish right now, but hopefully with us jigging, we'll be able to attract some fish and get a few hits. So stay tuned, folks. <laughs> you finally, finally got one, eh? Got one with these mitts. <laughs> you put the gloves on. Well, if it wasn't windy, it wouldn't be so bad. But with that wind, small one. Very with, small. With that wind, it's just so cold on the hands. But then you got to take the gloves off to, to get the fish off, right? Uh, he wanted that bad. He did, eh? He ate that whole sting nose. <laughs> wow. He really wanted it. Yeah. I have to keep this guy. We'll keep not releasable? No. Mm, that's we'll too bad. Him. Oh well. Now you've got the smaller sting nose on, right? Yeah. Let me see. Okay, so he, he's running, you look like you're running the 1 8th and I've got the 3 16th. Is that the 1 8th? Yeah, I think you're right. And I've got the 3 16th on, so mine's a little bit bigger. But he hit it hard, eh? He hit it hard. I just couldn't feel a thing. My hands and gloves and lines not going down. We need a hut. <laughs> it would have been nice to have a hut today, actually. So that smaller sting nose looks like you're triggering more hits. It looks like. However. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe I'll stay with the bigger sting nose. At least your hands are staying dry. Yeah, they are. That's one advantage. <laughs> wow. Now, are you aggressively jigging? I haven't been watching you. I've been switching it up. Aggressively jigging and then just kind of twitching on the spot. And okay. And actually stopping sometimes. Right? Well, you can stop and pause, especially when it's tipped. Yeah. I mean, we stop and pause. Oh, you had one there. Did you get him? Oh, I lost him. I mean, we stop and pause when we don't tip, so. Yeah, that's true. Right? Yeah. Okay, that felt like a small one too, though. Maybe uh, he'll come back after it. This one's a little better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're struggling. My hands are so cold. I can't even move my face. <laughs> All right, that's not much better. Uh, uh, I'm gonna try just jiggling it a bit, see if I can trigger a trigger a hit. Jiggle it and pause. That, that eye drop stays on nice, eh? Yeah, they don't come off. They're nice. Oh. My drag is going, but it's because I had all that, I had all that ice build up on my line. <laughs> I, I was just jiggling it when he hit. Oh, yeah? Like, very, very subtle, Antonio. Yeah. Yeah, very, very subtly. Just kind of Okay, another small one. So it looks like we're gonna have to weed through these small ones to get some bigger ones, eh? Yeah, I think I got 
got your twin. You got my twin? Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Look at that. I dropped back down there again. Small ones, eh? Small. Okay, but you know what, folks? This is fun, and sometimes you do have to weed through those small ones to get to the bigger ones. Now, I'm using... Uh, what do you use? I'm using mono. You got mono on? I got mono, yeah. I find that mono works better in the open water, or open air like this. If you're in a hut, it doesn't really matter. You could get away with even braid, but when you're out in the open like this, oh, yeah, when was... you're out in the open like this, the mono uh, performs, I think, much, much better. Okay, just jiggling it just a bit. I missed that one. Give me it. Oh, I missed him again. It must be small. It must have been small, yeah. Okay, we'll just keep... See if I drop it right down to the bottom. I like to do that once in a while too. Drop it right down and then just kind of lift it up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they're small, that's why. Oh, did I just lost them? I think I lost them. Or no. Yeah, I did. It was small though. All right, I'll get right back down there again. <laughs> well, I'm gonna. Oh, there we go. I'm <laughs> wow. There must be just a bunch of small fish down there, but I know I've come up here. We're out of Lefroy, and we came last year, and the same thing. We got a lot of small fish, oh. but we ended up getting, you know, a couple dozen keepers as well. You gotta weed through the small ones to get to the big ones. Sometimes what happens, those smaller fish, they don't give the bigger fish a chance. They're, they just attack your, your bait right away. Did you find that? Yeah, for sure. Sometimes yeah. that happens, eh? Okay, get that line right back down there again. Oh, it's cold, it's that wind. I guess okay. that's why wind chill exists. <laughs> <laughs> we know what they mean about wind chill, right? All right, let's see if we can get another hit. Do you have them? Small. Small. There we go, there's another one. Well, I'm telling you, this tipping technique is definitely working for us today. Sometimes you need a little bit of extra scent. Now, you could also tip with a little piece of minnow if you've got a little minnow. That works too. But what I like about these eye drops is the eye is a natural attractor. It's scented and it stays on your hook. <laughs> and you can. Just keep reusing them as opposed to the minnows sometimes come off. And you gotta have lots of minnows sometimes. But these just keep reusing them over and over again. But it looks like, Antonio, we're gonna have to weed, weed, continue to weed through these small fish. Yeah. In order to get <laughs> at least enough to bring home for a, a little fish fry, eh? Well, we're going to give it our best shot, folks, I'll tell you that. But you know what? Ice fishing, it's very, very relaxing. You want to talk about stress-free, fresh air, today sunshine. Okay, granted, it's cold, but if you have a hut, you get a hut, you can stay definitely a lot warmer, at least you're out of the wind. But it's really, really an enjoyable thing to do during the winter. So if you get an opportunity, folks, oh, <laughs> get, get on out there and have some fun. That's what we're doing today. We're gonna have to weed through these small fish, but you know what? It's all fun, it doesn't matter. Ah. You have me? No, I oh. got my fish out already. Really? Yeah, you got a bigger one? Oh, look at that. Oh, what do you got? You got a herring. <laughs> it's actually a white fish. Is it a white fish? Yeah. Oh, you got a little white fish. Look at that. There you go. A small white fish. And he nailed that sting nose too, eh? Yeah. Beautiful. And is he gonna release? He should. Going oh, your hand in that water and it has gotta be cold. <laughs> That's freezing. Well, that was a bonus fish. Yeah, I thought I had your line. No, no, he didn't have my line. So maybe, like I say, folks, we're gonna we're gonna keep fishing away here and, and weed through these small perch. Hopefully get some keeper perch or maybe some keeper whitefish. But if you get an opportunity, Give ice fishing a try. Stay warm. Have some fun. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, folks, good luck. Oh, well, there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> not even down yet. <laughs> well, this one feels a little bit, a little bit better. 
Let me just bring them in and then we'll sign off. It feels a little bit better. And what do we got? Okay, a little bit better. <laughs> okay, now we'll sign off. Until next time, folks, good luck and good fishing.